there's no way to get in this corner with it angled the way it is. So we're going to loosen this head and twist it around so we can get into this tight corner. This thing, you want to use a big wrench on this because you want to be able to torque it down tight. If you do not tighten these down, there's a bearing assembly in here that if you don't have this tight and it's flexing, you're going to wear the bearing out. So you always want to use a big monkey wrench to tighten it back up so you have leverage. You gotta have a big monkey with a wrench too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little more. Yep, yep, another way. A little more. Okay, stop. Is that an arrow? Or is that an arrow? Pardon me? Is that a stop arrow? No, it's just got holes you look to line up. If you're going to get underneath benches, a lot of guys are doing like school, all the locker rooms are pulling the epoxy out of uh, field houses and locker rooms. And they got those fixed benches. You put it straight, it's great for getting underneath those benches. Now since this machine is set with a little bit of a bevel, you don't want to always run it on this side. You want to switch it back because it's already got a little angle for the other side. You do this for just quick, tight corners you can't get into. So it's lift and run on the right. Well, it's level. You can run it any way you want to, but you want to change to make sure it's leveled out. Right now, it's, it's set from the factory right, so it's angled a little bit. Turn it up. Like it's 